Any hope of a reprieve is days away. Temperatures aren't expected to dip in Montreal until Friday. The city is urging people to do what they can to cool off. The stifling heat is a real danger, especially for the elderly and the sick. At this long-term care home, some rooms still don't have air conditioning. Sylvain Belmar says he's been sleeping in his wheelchair in a common room that's kept cool. The monde sont pas mal down. Tu sais, ils ont hâte que ça, les chaleurs de canicule soient finies, puis que puisse avoir l'air climatisé dans nos chambres. The days of scorching weather have contributed to at least six deaths so far in Montreal. While officials hesitate to minimize that, they say it's not outside the norm. During the 2010 heat wave, 106 people died in the Montreal area. We're not seeing an excess level of deaths due to heat wave, but of course, uh, and those people that are dying, they have, uh, most of them, other conditions. So they have chronic diseases, they have mental health problems or uh, problems with drugs. Special teams are doing door-to-door -door checks, looking out for people who could be at risk. This is very hot here and uh, drink a lot of water uh -huh. during the, the hot day. Okay? No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. They're reminding residents to watch out for symptoms of heat stroke and dehydration. If they have like uh, cramps, stomach cramps and big headaches, and if they feel uh, they have problem breathing, or if they feel uh, a little bit dizzy and they talk and it doesn't really make sense, those are the signs. For those making the most of the heat and those workers who have to toil in it, the city says everyone should be cautious of warning signs. Jayla Bernstein, CBC News, Montreal.